few shout outs to do. Most of them are welcoming people to the neighborhood. So let's get started. Welcome back to Janet Johnson. We missed you girl. Thoughts and prayers go out to Janet Johnson for her health and for financial troubles. So please keep Janet Johnson in your thoughts and prayers. Carmine Aloka, welcome to the neighborhood. And thoughts and prayers go out to him as well for health and financial reasons as well. Joyce Pennell, welcome to the neighborhood. Greg Myers, thoughts and prayers go out to him. He had to put his dog Mac down this week. Sorry about that, Greg. I know how that feels. It's never fun. Sophia P, welcome to the neighborhood. C, <laughs> Carib, welcome to the neighborhood. And I probably said that one wrong. Tanya Longley, happy birthday to your dad tomorrow, the 30th. Lucky Mel Lee, welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Allie Johnson, welcome to the neighborhood. Janet Arizara, welcome to the neighborhood. Valentina Pye, welcome to the neighborhood. Barbara Burks, welcome to the neighborhood. The Jukebox, he came over from Periscope. Welcome to the neighborhood. Carly right now, welcome back girl, we missed you. Glad to have you back. And a special shout out to my friend Bethany from Sylvia Phillips channel. If you guys haven't gone and checked out Sylvia's channel, you need to do so. Okay, my question last week was, when you go on vacation, how do you pack? Do you pack heavy? Do you pack light? Do you overpack? Do you pack on the spur of the moment? What do you do? I picked four answers to read to you guys. We're going to read Angie's, which is Angie Lupus Life. She packs as light as possible, but always regrets that later. Tresemme One overpacks, but only uses about a third of what she packs. But it stresses her out if she doesn't because she's afraid she's going to need something and not have it with her. Crimson Fairy, she packs what she needs, but she's on in London right now and she packed extremely light because she just had gastric bypass surgery and lost a lot of weight. And she's going to buy herself a new wardrobe in London. You go, Crimson Fairy. Gaga's Little Monster. She just did a Comic-Con in London and she brought a huge suitcase with her with everything you can imagine that you would need. And she said she brings everything because you never know when the zombie apocalypse can happen. You know what? I don't care if the zombie apocalypse happen, happens and what I have with me as long as Daryl Dixon comes to save me. That's all I have to say. All right, so as far as me, it all depends on where I'm going. If I'm coming to my parents' house, like I did, I pack extremely light because my parents have a washer and dryer. I could do my laundry. I don't need to bring my shampoos and stuff. I can use theirs. I don't need to bring a blow dryer and all that stuff because I can use all theirs. But if I'm going on vacation somewhere, then it's a different story. Then I have to pack that kind of stuff. Okay, my question for today is brought to you by my mother. Do you eat healthy or do you eat unhealthy? So do you eat healthy food or junk food? There's your question. And what do you eat? So give us an example. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. And I can't poke Kevin or anything because he's not here. Kevin, take it away. <laughs> well, it's about time. Jab, 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 jab. Okay, so it's a little bit of a mess here. I know. I don't have anybody yelling at me to clean it up either. 
Okay, so here we go. Last week, the question was about 1995 movie Species. And it was just a simple question. Uh, there was a scene that had um, Forrest Whitaker in it playing a character and his psychiatrist. And there was a sign in the background that looks like your typical please don't smoke. But it actually says, please smoke. And those of you who got that was Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, The Abyss 92882, and Greg Myers. Now, I actually threw another question out there that only one person actually tried to answer, and that was, who was Erwin Allen? And uh, that was answered by Cold Today, and Erwin Allen was the king of the disaster movies. Probably one of his most famous one was 1972, The Poseidon Adventure. And so tonight's question is going to be about the Poseidon Adventure. And the question is, what inspired the no what inspired the novel that the movie is based on? So there's the question. And uh, so don't have Val to, uh, to, to do the rest of this, and I don't remember all the stuff she says. But uh, you know what? We'll see y'all next week. And. and Oh, and by the way, uh, when I pack, I wear t-shirts and jeans, underwear, until I pack, until I wear. So, there it is. So, see you all tomorrow.